you guys welcome back today we are going through none other than my figure collection list again but this time as promised before we are going through the good section um, and we're gonna go ahead and clean that up we already finished cleaning up the figures category thank god that took like two parts um, this one I don't think should take as long just because I feel like there's not really much to like explain why I'm keeping certain things and why I'm like changing my mind on them uh, yeah I just think there's less to really go through in terms of explaining so hopefully this video with will either not be too long or it won't require a second part unless you enjoy these videos and I don't know maybe a second part or a longer video of this would be good for you I don't know anyways let's get started and uh, clean this thing up so right now we have 236 items on our wish list just in the good section so I'm trying to, ugh. I don't, I don't even know. Like maybe if we can get it down to like, I don't, I don't know. At least in the hundreds, maybe. I'm trying to be realistic too. So I don't think I can get it like below a hundred really. All right, okay. See, so now we're starting with the plushies. Um, so first up, we have these two Tokyo Mew Mew plushies. They're super rare. Uh, this is Ichigo, and then this is God jump scare. Uh, and then this is Zakuro. <sighs> the thing with these plushies, I have Ichigo, but I have her in her battle outfit. This is her in her uh, cafe outfit. I really want it because I also have mints plushies in both the maid outfit or the maid cafe outfit and the battle outfit. So, uh, and Ichigo is my favorite character mint is my second so I think I'm going to leave these in here even though they're like super rare and they're like super expensive even when like I bought mine I did not get them for cheap I'm gonna be honest I really didn't uh, but now I can't even imagine how much higher the price has gone since then because I did buy them a while ago um, but I'm I, I, I am still gonna keep these on here just because just, just because I love these and I love Tokyo Mew Mew so much and the magical girl obsession in me will not let me take these out. And then we have this <laughs> Oikawa Nitotan doll. So if you've watched my channel before, you know that I collect Nitotan plushies. I have a whole grid on this side of my wall of just Nitotan plushies that are hanging and they're like the keychain versions. This one is a Nitotan plushie, but it's not a keychain version. It is actually like a big plushie. And it's of an Oikoa, and I don't have an Oikoa Nitotan keychain either, surprisingly, even though Oikoa is like my favorite Haikyuu character. I, I was also gonna buy one at one point, but I don't know what happened that I didn't. Um, I guess I just got sidetracked with like pre-orders and whatnot and then I, I guess I eventually forgot about it I was also going to get kudo and I guess it just never happened uh, but this is like I didn't even know they did big Nitotan plushies until I saw this one he is super cute and I don't honestly I think I'm going to take him out and just settle for the little keychain one just because I don't think I even have room to put this Big boy anywhere <laughs> I, I think I could justify also getting the smaller one too I'll have more space for it it'll be cheaper and it'll just it won't feel out of place because I have all these small ones and then I have like one giant one right it'll make more sense at least uh, so I think <laughs> I'll settle for that okay so next up I have this Madoka Magica plushie it's also a, I think it's a big plushie right um, doesn't say but I think it's 7.8 inches so like 8 inches decently sized I would say I love her so much I think she's so cute the only um, Madoka right yeah the only Madoka plush I have is those Nesso I think they're called Nesso Betties Nesso Booties one of them I don't remember um, I have that one and I love it so much I got it at a convention like years ago but I really want this one too I think she's so adorable the way she's sitting 
Um, I, I love the bows and I love the little um, shoes that she has that are like sh really shiny. I'm gonna keep her. I think I'm gonna keep her. I don't know what it is about Madoka, but I can never say no to her. And I think it's just like everything I love in, in a magical girl in this one character. Does that make sense? She's pink, she's got her pigtails, she's got this like frilly cute dress. She's just adorable. I love her. Okay, we <laughs> we have another plushie. Uh, this is from Black Butler. If you don't know who this is, this is Elizabeth. Uh, I think a lot, I think she gets like, I don't know. I think she's misunderstood as a character <laughs> oftentimes. But I think after Black Butler, Book of Atlantic, I think I think people like started liking her more. But I love her, nonetheless. I love her so much. And there are no Elizabeth plushies out there. It's like mainly just understandably so. It's mainly just Sebastian and Ciel. I also want Elizabeth, and I also want uh, I forgot her. Uh, I think you pronounce it Sullivan, the Green Witch. Uh, I haven't like read Black Butler in so long. I'm pretty sure I'm so behind on it, but um, yeah, I just feel like we should get more characters. And once I saw Elizabeth, I was so happy and so excited. And actually, <laughs> once I found out that this plushie exists of her, I literally went on a search for her for like weeks and I couldn't find anyone selling her at all yeah maybe maybe if i start looking for her again maybe i'll actually find her this time um she's obviously not the best looking but nobody's making elizabeth plushies so i'm gonna take what i can get and it's it's a small one like you can see it's a keychain version so i can just hang it up with the rest of my hunk up plushies perfect um so we are keeping that wow i have not removed a single thing <laughs> yet um i have this <laughs> oh no okay well i'm keeping this too i have this octagawa plush from bungo stray dogs i have the chuya version and i have the dazai version uh i decided not to get the atsushi one which pains me because i love atsushi so freaking much i think he's also a character that gets such a bad um I don't know, I feel like he's very misunderstood too. But anyways, um, but the reason why I'm not getting Atsushi is because his like version of this doll, it looks a little creepy. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it looks terrifying to me. But I think Octagawa's is so freaking cute. Look, they even gave him eyebrows. <laughs> All that just to say, I am keeping. <laughs> okay, this one we can remove. This is uh, a Amatsuki plush i had a whole phase where i was obsessed with amatsuki if you don't know who amatsuki is he is a japanese singer but he's like he's like in the same category as mafu mafu he does like vocaloid covers he's done like anime opening and ending covers or anime movie covers uh, I he also has his like own original songs i believe uh, but I had a whole his voice is just so beautiful and while I still do listen to him and I still do love him I don't think I really need a plush of him Even though these are so cute, but like there's like other things that I really want more This is kind of like if I had extra money and that I could just like throw away Which I never do <laughs> um, I would have gotten him but like I, I'm okay. <laughs> All right one down a million more to go <laughs> Oh, okay. This is cute, but I've seen better <laughs> um also i think the hair is like that almost like i don't know what material it is maybe it's like an almost like rough felt material that i hate that like feels just so rough and cardboardy like i don't i don't know how to explain it and i hate plushies that have that he's cute though i love his expression but like i'm i can appreciate him in photo form right uh so we will remove him ah okay next up we have this Fyodor plushie. So Bungo Stray Dogs and Sanrio did a collab together and they made these plushies with <laughs> each Sanrio character assigned to a Bungo Stray Dogs character. Tell me this is not the cutest thing ever. Um, Atsushi, of course, because he's a tiger, he got Hello Kitty. Dazai got My Melody. Uh, uh, Octagawa got 
honestly, I don't I don't know the names, so sorry. Um, but uh, Octagawa got that like black spiky haired character. I don't I don't I'll put a photo of it up. Um, and then Chuya got I think Pen his name is Pen Pen Penguin. I could have totally just made it up, but it's like Tuxedo Penguin. Blue, that, he got that blue penguin and then Fyodor got cinema roll, but I have all of them I am just missing Fyodor and I cannot find it for the life of me and I want him so bad I want him so bad. I want him so bad. Um, we have more Okay, see like these ones. I can't I I added these recently, so I'm not gonna remove Remove them. These are like giant sleeping Bunga stray dogs plushies and like they're all in pajamas <laughs> look how cute they are they are so adorable so that's atsushi <laughs> we, they have dazai too these are like 22 inches like they're they're pretty big um and then we have octagon look at octagon it's so cute but like my favorite is this chuya one <laughs> he's drooling and he's just adorable I, I think he's so cute but i also can't find these for the life of me um I've seen Octagawa's and I've seen Atsushi's before, but like, they're like 80 to $100 and I'm not, we're not doing that. We, okay. I know like, <laughs> I could be insane when it comes to like buying stuff of my favorite characters, but let's have some sense here, right? We're not, we're not, we're not going to do that, right? We're not going to pay $80, 80 to $100 for, for a doll, right? <laughs> So I'm keeping them, uh, just in case I do end up finding a good priced one. The, the main one I at least want is Chuya's. I, I think that's the cutest one, but anyways. Next up we have this Tomoko plush. Honestly, I'm going to remove it. Not because I'm over Tomoko or anything. I love her so freaking much and I'm so sad that there's like barely any stuff of her out there. Um, but that's the re only reason why I added this to my wish list. And when I did add it to my wish list, I was actually actively looking for her and I couldn't find her. And I guess that's a good thing that I didn't find her because I, I have changed my mind. It's not that she's ugly, but she's also not that cute either. Um, so I don't know. I, I guess I'll remove her. Okay, next up, <laughs> we have another bingo straight. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, we have another Bingo Stray Dogs plushie, and it's of Chuya sleeping. There is one of like Dazai, Atsushi, and Octagawa, but I just had Chuya. I do want those ones. I at least want Dazai and Chuya because they're my two favorites. But this Chuya one is so freaking cute, and I want him so bad. I have seen him on sale before, but I just haven't like went out and bought it. I don't know what it is. I And he's drooling again because he canonically drools when he sleeps. Ex exhibit A. So I'm keeping it. Next up we have this cushion of Akko. I've never bought like these cushion merch things uh, except for one which is the case study of the neatest one on one side it's it has no way on and on the other side it has vanitas i'm not really a huge fan of them i think they're super cute i love them but like also i don't know like i would rather have a plushie than like a cushion but this one is super cute i love the colors and i and like i love this illustration of akko so much I was actually going to remove this and like I opened it up I opened up the tab to remove it and now I'm looking at it again and I kind of want it so I will only get this if I find it for like a really decent price okay next up <gasps> y'all I want to keep this so bad. I freaking love Mammon from Obey Me. Granted, I haven't played the game in so long and I haven't, I know there's like a new version of the game that I haven't downloaded. Um, but even though I haven't played the game in so long, I, I love Mammon. This is a towel. This is like a giant towel that was in like one of those lottery games in Japan. I've seen him, I think maybe like a couple times online, but he was like, I don't know, like, ridiculously price two hundred dollars something like i'm not we're not doing that come on now also like it's a towel i don't know what i'm gonna do with a fucking towel that i'm never gonna use i am not gonna hang it up i have i i, I don't even know if i have well maybe i can make room to hang it up obviously uh, but 
I will make room to hang up things I want. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I, maybe if it was a poster, I would have gotten it. Not for $200, but like, you know, decent price. But I love this, oh my God, I love this illustration of him so much, you guys. Ooh, okay, we have some Noragami stuff. Let me open both these tabs. Oh my God, I really want these. <gasps> Okay, so these next two are both from Noragami and they are both mugs. And I do have, thankfully, I'm so grateful that I have this. I have one Noragami mug uh, that I love so much. It has Yato and it has Hiyori in it. And it's, it has like this like, mm, the artwork has like a manga type texture to it with like dots. I'll try to find it and like show you a photo of it. The thing is, I don't think I will ever use it because I don't want the art to like get scratched off or anything. At some point years ago, at a convention, I found these free heat activated mugs and I did end up using them and eventually, I don't know, the decal from the art started fading and like, I don't know, it was, it it got messed up and now I'm like so traumatized. I'm, I'm too traumatized to like buy an anime mug and use it, but I really love the mugs that they make too. So I, I decided that if I ever get like anime mugs, I'm not gonna use them. Unless like, unless they're not like rare or anything and like I get them for cheap. But there's also this one with <laughs> Yato like laying across uh, the entire art. And then I also really love the colors. It's, it reminds me of the opening. And then there is this one, which I also love so much. I love this like art photo in general of him with Uesama. We have these Tokyo Mew Mew old like rare keychains. We have mint, we have pudding, and we have Zakudo. I only have Ichigo. I really like these so I'm gonna keep them because they're kind of like a mix of figures but also keychain that I'm never gonna use so I'm gonna keep them. Oh my god we need to like <laughs> uh we have this oh I love this I love this so much. We have this Amu from Shugo Kiara, also a keychain, but also like a figure. I used to, oh, I, I remember going to conventions and I used to get these. They would like be hanging like in the, what's it called, dealer's hall of like different characters from different series. I remember getting a Toka, Kaneki, and Uta one from Tokyo Ghoul and I love them so much. I still have Toka. I don't know what happened to Kaneki. Maybe I didn't have a Kaneki one. Maybe I did. I don't remember. I don't know what I did with Uta, but his head is broken. I know I broke his head. I think I tried gluing it back at one point, but then I don't know what the hell happened to him after that. He kind of just disappeared. Um, so we are ke keeping this. Um, okay, this is an Aloise plush from Black Butler. He's ugly. I love Aloise, but he's ugly. Also, Aloise is not even supposed to be a real character, right? Like. That whole season of Black Butler should have never happened with Claude and Eloise. So, I, <laughs> I love Eloise still, but like, okay, I don't need this. Uh, okay, we have this keychain. I think it's a rubber keychain, right? Yeah, it's a rubber strap of Aaron, Mikasa, and Armin from Black, from Black Butler from Attack on Titan. And this was also around the time when I finished reading the manga and I was like sobbing my eyes out and I, I needed like something with them all together. It's like reminiscing when like things weren't so bad uh, at that time in the series. I am keeping this one. I was gonna remove it, but then I saw them again. I'm like, no, I need this. This is so cute. Okay, so next up we have two Watamote items. One is this acrylic keychain of Tomoko and it says Mokochi. That's what her friend calls her. That's like her nickname. Uh, and I think this is so cutely designed and I'm gonna keep it because I think it's something I can hopefully find for a cheap price because it's just a keychain, but it's also another item that I can add to my very, very tiny, barely existent Watamote collection. And I like that the back is also not just like plain. Usually that's what they do with like acrylic stands and these keychains. They just make the back plain instead of double-sided, but this is double-sided and I like it. And then we have this, it's 
Oh, this is also a keychain. I thought it was like a mix of a keychain and an acrylic stand, but no, it's it's just a, like a giant, I guess, keychain. And I think it's cute and it's also double-sided. So we are going to be keeping it. Same reasons as the other one. Okay, girl, you gotta start <laughs> removing stuff. This is getting embarrassing. Um, this is Deco Mori from ch the Chinibyo anime. She's my favorite from that series. Her and like, I forget her name all the time. She's she's the girl with pigtails and she has the heart on her cheek. I'll, I don't know, I'll put a photo of her here. But I love her so much and I love, <sighs> I love these keychains. These are like rubber keychains and it looks like you're like picking them up. I think they're called Tsumare, Tutsumare, Tsumare Mare keychain. Tsumare Mare, yeah. I think they're so cute. I have one of CL, I'm looking at it right now. CL Sebastian from Black Butler. I have one of Alba from New Game. And I have a Rin one from Vocaloid. And I got that one like years ago too. And I had that. At that time, I was planning on getting Miku and Len, and I never did, and I'm upset that I haven't. Um, and then I have one, because there are no Noragami ones, there's like this bootleg one, kind of, uh, that I found on eBay of Yato. So I just got that, and he's like holding his like bottle of Yen too, it's so cute. I love these keychains. I, don't, I, I, I can't get enough of these keychains, and so oh, we're gonna keep it. Okay, okay, I can remove this. See, this I can remove, you guys. It's a Yato keychain. I love Yato, but this is kind of just like one of those things where it's like they took a default photo and just smacked it into like a piece of merch. And like the only thing unique about this is like the shape of the keychain, which I guess is supposed to be like a crown that they like sometimes like draw on Yato. But also it's like, there's nothing really that stands out. <laughs> I, I just added it on here because it was a piece of Yato merch. That's it. Look, we're making <laughs> progress. Okay, I'm, hold on. I'm <laughs> Back to square one. More Watamote ones. <sighs> this is something I think I'm going, it's a rubber keychain as well. It's a rubber strap. Uh, this is something I'm going to keep, but it's not something I don't think, I don't know. I, I, I just, I don't, I don't really have an explanation for this really. I think it's adorable. It's adorable enough that I want it, but also not that I'm gonna, that I'm gonna go seek out anytime soon. Does that make any sense? Probably not. Same with this one. I, th I think they're like from the same series, yeah. This is a Yato keychain. I think it's super cute. I, th uh, I don't know, I really don't know. I think I'm like, this is one of the things that I'm like constantly going back and forth with. I don't know. So if I'm not sure, then I will keep it for now. This is a Tu Mare Mare keychain of Creamy Mommy. I'm so surprised that there's one of Creamy Mommy, to be honest. I don't know why. I guess it's just such an old Magical Girl series that I'm like, oh, you guys are making more stuff of her. But um, yeah, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> okay, so these ones I can remove. The This and this, these are like keychains, I think. Yeah, keychains and charms of Creamy Mommy, one of Creamy Mommy's like um, wands. And the only reason I have this is because there is a like, it's not a proplica, but it is, oh, there's also a proplica too, but there is like an old toy of her wand. And I really wanted that, but they are like crazy rare and crazy expensive, like insane, like ridiculous. And so I'm like, oh, maybe it'll, I'll just settle for a little keychain or charm of it. But also, like, I don't, that's not gonna do anything for me, really. Like, that's not gonna stop me from wanting the actual wand, right? So I think I can remove these. So we can remove that, and then we can remove this one. Okay, next up we have Mikoto from um, no, the Nozaki-kun anime. He's my favorite in this series. I love him so much. He looks super adorable, super cool. Uh, I don't think I need the keychain though. I think, I, yeah, as much as I love him, I think he's so adorable. Look at him. Um, I think I can make do without this one at least. And then there's also this one of Chio, which I can also remove. <laughs> Look at him right there. This one has all three of them together working on a manga. I think if I'm gonna get a strap in of them, I would have them all together. So maybe I will actually keep this one just because it's something of them and it's not something where I have to get like one of each character of. They're all there in one piece of merch. So maybe I'll keep this one for now. 
Oh, and these are the Tsumare Mare straps that I was gonna get that I have rid of. And this is the Miku one. And then this is the Len one. I especially want at least Len first just because I have Rins and I really love Len. Oh, and then I, I won't open these up, but they're, they are Tsumare Mare keychains of Nozaki-kun, the Nozaki-kun anime. I will keep those. I know I just said that like, instead of buying individual straps of them, I will get like the all, the one of all three of them. But like, I feel like these are its own category. I need like, I love these. <laughs> love these types of keychains so i will i will keep them we have this cl bottle strap thing i can remove um and just i don't eh, i'm, I'm kind of over it i don't know okay and then i have this i had these pretty recently actually i have this atsushi and i have a dazai one too keychains i think they're adorable i think i really think they're adorable i do kind of uh, see them every now and again online for sale. Uh, I did also recently add this to my wish list, and I still think they're really cute. Um, so I'll keep them for now, but I don't think I'll be, I really don't think I'll be getting them anytime soon. It's kind of, it'll kind of just sit in my wish list until I actually decide whether or not I want them. But like for now, I think they're cute to have. <laughs> I really hope I'm making sense. Okay, we have another CL. I think is this was literally the same one as the other one. I think it's just a different material, so we can remove it. Okay, and then we have this Momo from Free. It's acrylic and it's a keychain. And I think he's so cute. He's in his little restaurant outfit. But I do have a Momo keychain. Is it here? It is at work. Um, I do have a rubber one. I think it's super cute. It's a little dirty though. I can I can remove it. Oh, this is also of Momo from Free, but I think this was like for his birthday or something. And I think he's so freaking cute in both images. Um, man, I do want Momo stuff, but like there just like barely is anything. I think I think there's a little bit more now than there was when I like first when he first like made an appearance in the series. I think I just have to go out and look now to see what there is but I will keep him for now I love this whole outfit I think he's so he's just such a bubbly character I love him so much he's so goofy he like makes my day all the time I love him um and then this is the Nitotan I was talking about of Oikoa that I was thinking of getting um that can hang with my other Nitotan plushies so we're going to keep this of course I don't know if I have kudos on my wish list though I, I think I never got them I think I forgot to add him. Okay, we have two Noragami keychains. Um, I think these like little, I know there's like a series of these from like different shows. I think they're cute. It just, I just, I, I don't see myself buying this. I, this is another instance where I found something of Noragami and I was like, I need more Noragami stuff. So I will make an exception and just get like whatever I can find. But I, I don't really need this. Same with this. I like that it's double-sided, but also the design isn't for me either at the same time. Okay, so now we have this. I love this concept. I know it's a pretty old concept now, but I love this concept of just like these characters inside these like drink jars and they, each one has like their own theme or own type of food <laughs> that they represent or whatever. I think it's so cute. Um, I do love this as well. I have something similar of Elizabeth and CL, but they're in like a, they're in, oh my God, what is the word? Ah, uh, they're in like a, a bottle that you like throw out to see and you have like a le letter inside. I don't know why the, the actual name of it is like escaping me, but they're in that. And they're like seashells inside, I believe, or something like that. Not real ones, but like illustrated ones. Yeah, so I have those. I don't I don't need this one. Um, same with ugh, I love Vincent. <laughs> and I wanted something of him, but it's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Noragami. Um, yes, I added this because I wanted more Noragami merch, but I also added this because I love when Yato's hair is tied like that. No other reason. <laughs> so we can remove this. Okay, and then we have more of these like jar character keychains. This one has both Sebastian and Seal in it. Like I said, I, I really don't need it. We can remove it. Oh, okay. Well, I wanted this one because this one has the green witch. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right. I think it's Sullivan but that's why I just call her the green witch. And it has Elizabeth and I think it's so cute. I'll 
will keep this one for now, actually. I'm probably never gonna get it, but I will keep it on here for now. Oh, and then there's this jar one with Yato in it. I, It's cute, but it's also like not as cute as like the other ones I saw, like Black Butler, for instance. So eh, I'm gonna remove it. We have another Black Butler one with Seattle and Sebastian, and we will remove it. Can you believe I really thought I was gonna buy all this stuff? This is another instance of I want merch of this character for, and the show and there's barely anything that I, or really barely anything that I like and this is somewhat something I like so I'll make an exception but really it's not all that great so I will remove it. This is actually a really really super cute Sakura keychain from Cardcaptor Sakura. I think it's so cute, but I feel like I've seen cuter too. I think I'll remove it. I don't, please don't ask me why. I don't know. This is like a Aaron Finger puppet. Again, the, the, I, the manga had just ended and I was in that like, I need everything of him. I miss him, all that type of crap. So I'm gonna remove this. Oh my God, how'd I forget? I have this Levi Nitotan to go with Aaron and I never got it and I don't know why. Oh, it, I, I can't find it for a really good price, at least when I looked for it at the time. But I do want this Levi one, so we will keep it. I don't know about this one, and I don't know why I don't know about this one. I, I also collect these Pita Nui plushies, and they have like wires inside their arms and hands, and they like, they can grab onto things so you can hang them. I have as you can see, I have Bungo Stray Dogs ones. <laughs> I have Chuya, Dazai, and Atsushi down there, uh, which are going to be in a haul video I'm making. So I guess you got like a little sneak peek of it. But I also, I don't know if you can see, <laughs> you're gonna be able to see it, but probably not. But I also have a CL one. He's at the like very end of my shelf. But I don't know, I never got, I never got Sebastian. And I don't know why I, I think, like I wanna say I'm content with just CL, but like sometimes I look at it and I'm like, I also want Sebastian. I don't know what that is, <laughs> I don't know why. I do think Sebastian's is adorable, but I also think CL's is even cuter. So I don't know, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. I think I'll just leave it, I have no idea. I always come back to this, I don't know what it is. Acrylic keychain, Akko, bland. I can live without it, let's remove it. This is also a keychain of mint or from Tokyo Mew Mew. I think I'll remove this one because I kept the er the ones earlier in this video. And I don't I don't like these like straps. I, I just I think they're like in the way and there's nothing really cute about them really. Um so I can remove this. Oh see I wanna remove this. I have the hack one too on my wish list. I wanna remove these, but I also don't. <laughs> These are, I think these are keychains where you can get each character and you can attach, you can attach a character to the end of an, the other characters. So it makes this like whole like long keychain of just <laughs> characters hanging on to each other. I love the art too. I think it's super cute. And it's Yona of the Dawn. I do not have any Yona of the Dawn merch. I think I also have like acrylic stands somewhere in this wish list of these characters. I literally, I literally have no Yona of the Dawn merch. I'm just like, it is, I'm just processing that information right now. If you guys have not seen this anime, it is incredible. So I will keep these for now. Next up we have these Sailor Moon keychains. I added this because I really love the little cafe outfit thing. I'm a sucker for like cafe themed stuff, but I don't, I don't need keychains. And then I also have one of Chibi Usa. I'm so scared to like refresh this and see how far we've gotten because I don't think we got far at all. <laughs> Again, another keychain that I don't actually care about that we can remove. So we're gonna remove it. It hurts saying no to Yato, but there's better stuff. Oh, this is the same thing, the same, this is the same issue I had with the Sebastian Pita Nui. This is a Nitotan of Sebastian. I have CL, but I don't have Sebastian. I don't know why. I actually like the Sebastian, I think, no, I don't know. I don't know if I like it better than the Pita Nui. Um, but I, I don't know, I, I just, I don't know, but I'll, I'll still keep him because I do want him. I wish they made an Elizabeth one. That would have been so cute. And then I have this, this is a key, actual keychain that I actually want to keep of Akko that I think isn't like this like plain 
thing that they just like smacked art into. I think this is actually super cute and it fits in with like my love of cafe type vibes. Okay, while I do collect Nitotans, even though I really love Demon Slayer, I'm not a big fan of this Tanjiro one. Again, this was like, I think I added this at the time when like Demon Slayer had just come out as a series and everyone was so hyped about it and I still am hyped about it but like I don't think I need this Tanjiro Nitotan. I, th I think I'll remove Tanjiro. I feel like I want to remove Zenitsu but like the part of me that really loves Zenitsu doesn't want to. <gasps> I wonder if there's a Tengen one. I'll have to check that out later. If there's a Tengen one, I need to add that to my... If there's a Tengen and eventually if they make a Doma one, I will get Zenitsu, Doma, and Tengen. Uh, and then we have this Aaron one. I'm okay with deleting this one just because I have the other one. I, I have, I don't know what the outfits are called, I'm gonna be honest. I think this is the Survey Corps one, right? And it doesn't say. <laughs> Crap. Um, but I have the other one where where they, they're in their like brown outfits. Um, so I'm okay with not having this one. I think the only thing I like about this one is like the hood is removable. I think that's super cute, but also I'm okay with not having it. Okay, this is a Zenitsu acrylic keychain. Uh, I did add this because I was in that I absolutely love Zenitsu phase uh, and I still do, but I also added this because I love the manga art on here and I love like how it shines and shimmers. I think it's super cool, but I don't like the shape and I don't need it so I'm not like so in love with it that I need to buy it I need it right now this is so embarrassing I didn't I barely removed anything uh, but we <laughs> still have like two more pages uh, okay okay these ones are easy because I am going to remove these oh well, that's so cute I really like this because I always love how they like illustrate this crown on Yato I think it's so cute but I also really love this because he's holding his little shrine that uh, Hiyori made him and I know that's like such a big part of their relationship it was like such a big moment in the series but I I love Yato but like the shape of his head is ridiculous here I'm so sorry I'm so sorry I'm, mm, I'm gonna remove it I love him though. He is so cute though. This is a keychain version of that first big Zenitsu plush that I had. And this and, and his mouth is just open on this one. I think it's like literally the same plush. The only difference is it's smaller, has a keychain, is and his mouth is open here. Um I have the same issue with it that I had with the first one with like the hair being like that rough material. And also it's cute, but it's not like so cute that I have to have it. It's an okay one. Um, I much rather have the Nitotan than this. Uh, so yeah, we'll remove it. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna refresh this. Pray for me. Oh, we're at 200 items. Uh, so we didn't get to the goal of like 100 something and I knew we weren't going to. It, it's not fair because most of this stuff was Bungo Stray Dog stuff that I had recently added on here. So I obviously wasn't gonna remove it if I had just added it to my wish list. So I think, I wanna say in the next video that I do of this, I wanna say, <laughs> I wanna say that I can remove much more. Okay, anyways, yeah, I think I'll end it here and I will <laughs> see you back here in the next video that I do of this um, for part two. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys.